Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to The Walk. Today is Friday, November 18th, and um, today we are backing up. We were at the end of 1 John chapter 5 yesterday, and today the Holy Spirit led me right to the beginning of 1 John chapter 5, so that's where we'll be. And this is what it says. It says, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. So in order to be a part of God's family, the requirement is simply to believe that Jesus is the Christ. That means you understand that he's the Messiah, that he was sent by God, that he is God's son, and that he paid that price on the cross for you. And everyone who loves the Father loves his child as well. You can't love God and not love Jesus. They're, it's a package deal. This is how we know that we love the children of God by loving God and carrying out his commands. We show that we love our fellow believers by carrying out God's commands. And in doing that, we will often be taking care of other people. That's an essential part of our relationship with Christ. And, it, and you know, if you're not really showing God's love if you're not carrying out those commands. In fact, this is love for God to keep his commands. And his commands are not burdensome, for everyone born of God overcomes the world. Let's really think this through. We keep his commands. His commands are not a burden, they're a blessing. And when we're born of God, we are overcoming the evil in this world. This evil in this world doesn't have to have an impact on us the way it did before we entered into that relationship with Christ. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. So keep in mind, when there's evil around you, you do not have to fall victim to it. You have authority to fight it. You say, in Jesus' name, get out of here. You have no business in my life. And you declare it gone in Jesus' name. Who is it that overcomes the world? Only the one that believes Jesus is the Son of God. If you do not have that faith, that personal relationship with Jesus Christ, you cannot overcome this evil. You're a victim to it. And a lot of times you're going to get snowed by it. You're going to be bogged down by it. It is a constant battle against this evil. But when you have that relationship with Christ, you can overcome it. You are a victorious, victorious, victorious. <laughs> you're victorious over that evil and it does not have to hold you down so as you go into your prayer closet today remind yourself of that authority remind yourself that you've already got victory because you put your faith and trust in jesus christ remind yourself of how simple that idea is but the magnitude of what's available at your fingertips Today is Friday, so I'm going to remind you tomorrow there is no video. I will be back with you on Sunday. Have a wonderful day. God bless and keep walking the walk.